One of the biggest surprises in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes was the existence of a second intelligent human with the ability to speak and who was a prisoner of Proximus Caesar. I am talking about Trevithan, an inventor and historian whose origin was not explained in the movie Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. In this video, we'll be talking about Trevithan's origin and why we think he might be an astronaut. And for more videos from the Planet of the Apes universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Before starting with this video, I invite you to participate in our Planet of the Apes giveaway, where we will be awarding the Funko Pop of the Apes Liberator Caesar, along with the trilogy of this great character. So if you want to participate, you just have to subscribe to this channel and comment on which is your favorite character from the Planet of the Apes universe and why the winner will be announced on May 27th. The story of humanity in this new installment is a story about the destruction of a legacy. Humanity has become an echo of what it used to be, living as animals with their mental abilities reduced to a primitive state. However, not all humans in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes have lost their intelligence. Although the previews were focused on May, as we watched the film, we realized that the story is not only about this woman, but we were also shown the story of an inventor who was subjected to Proximus Caesar. His name is Trevithan. First time we see this character, it is after May is taken to Proximus Caesar's home. In this place, Proximus has a room similar to that of humans, with books and different memories of humanity. And it is here that Trevithan lives, who has become a faithful resource of Proximus Caesar. The first thing is that Trevithan invented the electric batons, which allowed the apes to have more advantage in combat over other apes in the world. The electric baton that Noah finds and later manages to repair was an invention of this man. We know this thanks to a scene in which Proximus Caesar mentions to Trevithan that Noah repaired the electric cane, something that had been Trevithan's invention. And we can see that this is quite surprising to this human. This means that Trevithan is an inventor, but he also reveals to May that every day he gives lessons to Proximus Caesar about the history of mankind, especially the time of the Roman Empire. Then, Trevithan's story concludes with him losing his life when he decides not to help May. Trevithan thought that the new empire of Proximus Caesar could not be overthrown and that the best alternative he had to survive was to collaborate with the apes. Apparently, Trevithan had been working for years for the empire that Proximus Caesar was creating and had become a sort of traitor to humanity, which is ironic because in the previous movies, we saw that the humans used some apes to fight against Caesar. As with the apes in the past, humans have now been subjugated. But Trevithan, beyond being a slave, seems to have become an active collaborator of Proximus Caesar, helping him to fulfill his plan. A plan that would put humanity at a greater disadvantage against the apes. May ends Trevithan's life, and it would seem that his origin story was never revealed. However, there are three important clues that shed some light on the possible origin of this man. The first clue is that Trevithan can speak. This means that he is immune to the virus, or that he comes from a place where humans were not affected by it. The second clue is that he is an inventor who creates technology using electricity. 300 years after Caesar's death, this ability cannot be taken lightly. This is a sign that he possesses a high intellectual level and has knowledge about the technology of the past. The third clue is historical knowledge. Trevithan knows what really happened to mankind in the past, and he is the one who taught Proximus Caesar everything he knows. And perhaps the clue that separates him from May is that the way Proximus Caesar's room was designed, it seems to be a recreation of the houses before the virus. It could be that this room was arranged by Trevithan in an attempt to recreate what houses were like before the virus. Let's remember that this movie takes place 300 years in the future. But then, based on these character clues, who could Trevithan actually be? Or what could his role truly be? The first possibility is that he is a human from a second bunker. As we know, May was sent as a soldier to retrieve a type of hard drive or key to connect with the satellites and talk to more humans remotely. According to May, 
half of humanity had gone to live underground this means that not only may society exist, but there are humans in other bunkers. I could say that this first possibility could have happened in the following way. Trevithan perhaps was the survivor of a bunker that ran out of resources and subsequently went outside and ended up trapped by Proximus Caesar. This would explain why Proximus Caesar knew the importance of the things in the bunker. Since Trevithan had already mentioned to him what was inside, because he came from a bunker. But the most interesting possibility about his character is that he was in fact an astronaut from some spaceship like the Icarus. In the Caesar trilogy, we saw the Icarus being mentioned several times. The Icarus was the time-traveling ship in the original movies, and we were hoping it might make an appearance in this new installment. However, nothing was mentioned concerning astronauts in the movie, and perhaps the story hasn't gotten to that point yet. But there is a possibility that an astronaut has already been shown without us knowing it. The fact that Trevithan was an inventor and a historian, who seemed to know firsthand what happened to mankind in the past, leads us to theorize that he may actually have been an astronaut who was caught by Proximus Caesar. He could have arrived on a spaceship similar to the Icarus, or he could have arrived from a space station. At the end of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, we can see that both May and Noah looked up at the sky. The fact that intelligent humans managed to make contact with other humans in the world leads us to think that the next movie could start with the Icarus crashing, or some other spaceship arriving on Earth. So the possibility of Trevithan being a human who was an astronaut, I guess will always be there. Although of course, as I mentioned earlier, I think the greater possibility is that this was a human who survived a bunker with scarce resources and then gave this information to Proximus Caesar. This aspect of the story is a very interesting one because it means that there are many humans in other parts of the world. However, if Trevithan's character did indeed lose his life to May, and we won't see him again in future movies, we could learn his story with a prequel comic or in some flashback scene in the next movie. The producers of Planet of the Apes have already mentioned that they have a nine-film plan for the franchise. So it is possible that many characters that we thought lost their lives will return in the next installments, and I think Trevithan is one of the most interesting characters, which left us with more doubts about the movie. There were several comics for the Caesar trilogy, telling the stories of the secondary characters so we could see in the future some stories of Trevithan and his origin. I think this character still has a lot to contribute to the story, and hopefully it will be revealed in the near future. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Could it be that Trevithan was a survivor from another bunker of humans? Was he actually an astronaut who arrived in a spaceship and was trapped by the apes? Drop your thoughts in the comments on the comments. And for more videos from the Planet of the Apes universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.